Tatchett in Berkshire, Major General Patrick Saunders, who is Assistant Chief of the Defence Staff and coordinating military response, says the armed forces are doing whatever they can. We're taking children to school in the morning. We're helping the elderly people in and out of their houses when they're flooded. We're helping people with their shopping and their local needs. And we've even had vehicle mechanics from the Household Cavalry Regiment who have rescued a swamp. This is not our day job. Our day job looks a little bit more like Afghanistan, but our role is to defend the country, to defend the country from any threats, and where there's a weather threat, then we'd like to be, a help, be able to help with that as well. Meanwhile, the Environment Agency says plans to cut hundreds of jobs have been put on hold while it deals with the floods crisis. The agency says no decisions will be taken until the emergency is over. It's also been criticised by some for not dredging rivers often enough. But Alistair Chisholm from the Chartered Institute of Water and Environment Management says dredging is not always the answer. It's not an out-and-out -out solution, but I think um, politicians were perhaps uh, making out what it, it could be. It is appropriate, in, in, particularly in low-lying areas where you have very slow-flowing rivers that are prone to um, silting up. But now people in the Thames Valley are, are saying, oh, well, we should have the, the Thames dredged as well. And the Thames is a different kind of river. Do keep us in touch if you are suffering problems this evening. The phone number 01872 222222. We've heard from Western Power. They say that there are 49 power loss incidents in the southwest at the moment, with 3,200 households without any power. Just to remind you, if you live on the south coast, there is a severe flood warning, which means danger to life. On the north coast, it's a flood warning, and for Truro, the city centre could well flood at this high tide. What's on? BBC Radio Cornwall. Right, so I've got some what's ons, and I also have some what's offs for you. Uh, the ones which are on, as far as we know, from folk to blues and beyond, an evening of acoustic guitar and song with Adrian Vranch at the St Ives Arts Club, Westcott's Quay, and that's eight o'clock. Tickets five pounds and four pounds for club members. At half past seven, Cornwall Ship Society meeting at the Falmouth Athenaeum Club, Port of Rotterdam, is the talk by Tony Atkinson. There's a prize bingo at the Farmer's Arms at St Merrin at half past seven. That's an aid of senior citizens' party funds and all are welcome. There's a Valentine's evening with Play It Cool at the Heavy Transport Club at St Austral. Tickets are four pounds. Morwen Stowe Pantomime presents Turn Again Whittington. That's at Morwen Stowe Community Centre at half past seven tonight and tomorrow. And again next Friday and Saturday as well. Adults six pounds and children three pounds. And the Rotary Club of Hale have their big one drawing this evening. That's at the Hale Daycare Centre. Six for six thirty. All equipment free of charge. All ages catered for. Seven to ninety-five years. So for 76, we passed it. <laughs> I'm sure we would never to go along to the water we found the hay and pink and dry. Even up to the age of 103 with both parents. Okay. Right, the offs. Bingo and the Liberal Club in Camelford has been cancelled because of the weather. And with Gateway Club's cancelling its meeting tonight at the John Daniels Centre. The party on Sunday is still on. And um, Jenny, the secretary, wanted everyone to go. So do go on to the party on Sunday. Don't bother with the Gateway Club meeting tonight. Age concern for 11 on the meeting today.